It's uh, Ian Skelly here with all the music throughout the afternoon, which includes plenty of coverage of the BBC Bronze. Today's highlight featuring more music next by William Walton. So let's go back to the Radio 3 box just over a week ago. Well, welcome back to the Royal Albert Hall for the second half of this evening's prom with me, Georgia Mann. Now I can see the bust of prom's founder conductor, Sir Henry Wood, glistening away under the lights. Uh, he looks out sternly on proceedings from his perch just by the organ console. But Henry Wood was more than a little bit taken by the work we're about to experience. After it was first performed in 1935, he wrote to William Walton's publisher saying, what a work, truly marvellous. It was like the world coming to an end. Its dramatic power was superb. What orchestration, what vitality and rhythmic invention. Suffice to say, he liked it. Uh, let's hear what tonight's conductor John Wilson has to say about Walton's Symphony No. 1. I think w Walton found everything a struggle. It, he always it took a lot of trouble to get notes down on, on paper. But I knew people who, who knew him and it never came easily to him. But the voice that emerges in this first symphony is really startlingly original. Yes, there are influences of Sibelius and so on, but what you have at the end of the day is Walton, and I guess that's just raw naked talent. I remember my own teacher at, at college, Joseph Horowitz, who studied up at Oxford, and I can't remember who his professor was, it might have been Armstrong, who said, you know, Walton was here and he failed his harmony paper. <laughs> 